of the game between Kaya Marciniak, Raquel Ferreira, um, what? I don't know how to say their last names. And Taryn with the serve to Kaya. Great set by Raquel. Kaya just demolishes that ball straight down by Taryn's feet. It now it is now one one with Raquel serving. And just to finish, this game is against uh, Katie Hogan and Taryn Locascio. I think that's Nathan the major. Sorry. Great set by Katie. And Taryn. Oh, Raquel doesn't want that ball down. And she rips that ball. Raquel's Brazilian, so and Brazilians are pretty beast at beach volleyball, so it must be in her blood. <laughs> Raquel back with a jump top. So Taryn gate set by Katie. And Raquel is just set all by over. Her. Found that line. Taryn was right there. She kept running through. She would have had it. Oh, they're examining the ball market. I see the ball market. It looks in to me. Straight by Taryn's left foot. Raquel looks a little pissed at that call. I thought it was in. We'll see what the ball says. And Katie's fixing that line. She doesn't want that to happen again. That was a close call. Katie's back to serve. The score is two all. We're out here in Columbus. It's a little breezy. Right next to the highway. And just out. Kai with an aggressive line shot. Kai is our coach at MBL Club Med Academies, located in Port St. Lucie. It's the only beach volleyball academy in the U.S. It's the official training center for the NBL and the junior athletes like me and my and my sister Marley. By the way, I'm Jenna. If you didn't catch my name before. And just long. Good eye by Kai. And Kai is back to serve. Also, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, just need to feel the rant, we'll answer you. Just drop us in a comment. Oh, Kaya got that ace. And they take the lead from board five to three. Kaya wanted that line, she found that line. It was four to three, my bad. So anyways, just drop us a comment in the caption section underneath the video. We'll, we'll shout you out. And Kai is up to serve. Drills that middle. Ooh, trouble. Taryn controls that ball. An easy play for Raquel. She ate that for breakfast. And Katie, get up. Get big. Kaya got big. Katie, Katie became a defender and there. Taryn puts great it down. Play. Wow. Oh, Taryn Thanks, frankly. If you love the view of the camera, we won't change it specifically for you if you like it that much. And now it's four all with Katie serving. Oh, the king is Karen serving. And Karen in the net. Raquel is going back to serve. Yeah, yeah. And Kaya got big. Raquel, pokies it over. Raquel's a lefty, so the lefties are hard to read. Oh, that was a great shot by her. Short on Kaya. 
And now we've got Katie back to serve. We're on the bad side, so she's going to have to control this ball, keep it in. She does a great job of that. Beautiful hand set by Kaya. Raquel's a little tight. Scramble at the net. Taryn gets up. Kaya plays that. Turns and demolishes the ball. Oh, great defense by Taryn. She gets up. Try to get Kaya, Kaya short again, but Kaya's like, uh uh, not today, honey. And Raquel stays in the middle, reads that ball. And Kobe over. Katie. Oh, Katie. That was a big play. Katie got bigger. It also helps when you're six foot three and have crazy long arms, but she does such a good job at that net, taking away so much court. It's six all. And we have Katie back there serving. Taylor just here sneeze. Bless you, Taylor. Thank you. Kazin type. I don't know how to say bless you in Portuguese. If, I, if anybody knows how to do that, please teach me. Kai is Polish, so they taught she taught me how to say bless you in Polish. It's Nostrovia. Something like that. Ooh, something's wrong with your ref. Pulling a shirt up. I don't know if I like that too much. We got Andy, Taryn's husband, out there. Andy's so he's not actually paid for his job, but he just loves working with the NBL. He does such a good job at everything that he does. Let's see what happens. Andy, Andy, and Marley's figuring Andy. out what happened. She's calling for Andy. Andy, Andy. Andy. They can already hear me, Andy. Jenna. Andy. 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 Oh, Lord. Andy doesn't hear us. That's sad. Okay, so back to volleyball. We're six all. Katie back there serving. And just out. Oh, that was six inches, eight inches out. It's a great aggressive serve. The NBL, the soul of beach volleyball. Did I sound like Ryan? Ryan is our center court um, host. He loves talking into the microphone. Loves saying the soul of beach volleyball. So I guess I kind of have to imitate him here on the Australian Golden Volleyball Vacations Court. We're sponsored by Volleyball Vacations where you get to play and party. I'm 16 so I can't do it yet, but when I'm, when I'm of age I will be there. So drop by if you want to stop and party with me in Turks and Caicos. Because that's not a lot of Turks and Caicos and me. Just kidding. Okay. So it's 7 all. Kaya. Katie got big. Raquel, great save. Kaya controls it down the line. Great set by Taryn. Get up there. Line over. Oh, that was a great sell by Katie. Score is now 8-7. to seven. Taryn and Katie are up. Katie sold that because she looked like she was about to hit the entire time then dropped it all about the last second. Popped it right over Kaya. And Taryn, sir, ball on the court. Sorry, screaming ball is kind of a habit. Because when I'm playing and practicing, there's always balls. So just, I see it, and I warn them. Not that people in life should need to worry about balls falling into their court, though. We got a replay. Taryn's still back to serve. Taryn back to serve. Got it. And Raquel. Raquel buries that ball almost. Deep line. Fox sports <laughs> shot, sorry. And Kaya got the peeler. Got you, she said in her little Polish accent. Please stop, honey. I'm not going to stop. <laughs> and it is now 8 all. Raquel's back serving. Raquel's starting again, it's 8-9, Taryn, 
got Taryn on the outside shoulder again. Katie was about to option it, decided not to. And set Taryn, Kaya was like, uh-uh, not today. And said no. And she stuck on that. Great job, Kaya. Michael is back with the serve with a two-point lead of eight to ten. Great pass by Taryn and an option by just out. Raquel now with a three-point lead. Still picking on Taryn right now. With the jumbo to the deep cross corner. Great shot. Got him. I don't know if any of you can see, but in our left corner, we got that giant Mikasa ball, which is a replication of the, all of the game balls that our teams, professional teams, play with. And the, right now, our name behind the game is Mikasa. It's the official ball of the NBL. Oh, just, just why? Jinx. The captions and comment section is looking a little lonely. You guys should drop us some more comments. Got a technical, right? I thought it was 12 9, right? Yeah, pretty sure it's 12 9. 12 9? Maybe it is a technical. Yep. And we're in our technical timeouts. Twelve nine. Kaya and Raquel. 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 Carolina. And creeping along the side over there is, on the other side of the net, is Skylar Del Sol. That's Kaya's husband's partner. Skylar is a little ball of muscle, one of the craziest athletes I've ever seen in my entire life. He's so good. He's just athletic as heck. And we're starting again. Here comes Kaya, and there's Raquel. Yay, I love you, Flyball. And we got Kaya back to serve. It's 12 9, just after the technical. She finds Taryn. Oh, this long. So you guys find that line that the wind blows it out because they're on the bad side. It's hard to serve cross court going with the wind. Oh, another miss serve. That's three miss serves in a row. Let's see if Kitty can stop the train. I think both teams here are really trying to be very aggressive on their serves because they know the other team can side out as well. So that's why you're seeing these miss serves and really serving tough. Thanks, Andy. That's Taryn's husband right there. And Katie stops the streak. Kaya, great dig by Taryn. Katie gets big, 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 big punts. Oh, look. Oh. <laughs> I was about to be like, yeah. This is a great aggressive play by Katie. People honk at us as they drive by. See? Everybody loves this volleyball. Okay, and Raquel talking with Kaya and Raquel talking with some hand signals. Great pass by Taryn. She puts it down with a cutty cut shot. Cutty, cutty, cutty. What time is it? Snip, snip. I need to go to bed. 
Here at MBL, we're sponsored by Australian Gold. We've got to keep our athletes protected from that hurtful sun rays. Well, you got talking, so I just started to pick it up there. Alright, yeah, so Australian Gold smells great. It does your skin really good things for your skin. Yeah. <laughs> and Raquel, straight what? over the block. That lefty. Oh my god. I wish I was a lefty. Our comments box is still really lonely. Somebody please give us some love. Ask us questions. Oh, we got a heart. Yay! Somebody likes us. Who likes beach volleyball? Like us if you like beach volleyball. More likes. Yeah. There we go. Hi, is back to serve. And it's 16-13. Carolina Marciniak. Marciniak. Serving. The other day, the other... Um, Marley and I are juniors. We play with um, and Club Med, the only beach volleyball academy in the entire United States. It's really, it's a really prestigious place. Kaya, uh, her husband Piotr, is uh, our main coach, and he's he was playing early. He just won his first game. Let's see if the the couple can make it to the Bring finals. It and that was a great shot by Taryn. Caught rock. Katie's back to serve. And Katie, boom, straight down the middle. Just out. Long by about two feet. Too many push ups. And we got Carolina Martiniak back there serving. Great line down the line serve. Beautiful set. Double. Oh, Kaya. Great play. Scappy play. Those long arms come in handy sometimes. Great dig by yes, Taryn. Taryn. She has to free ball it over. See if Jacqueline can do anything. Oh, oh. Aggressive mistake. That's a great play by Taryn and Katie. Way to keep the ball alive. I want to learn how to speak Polish so then I can listen to Kai and Piotr when they're talking. <laughs> Speaking Portuguese would be pretty cool too. Raquel could probably help me with that since her, she's Brazilian and Kai is Polish. That was ball a great was called rim. in. Should be. It was right on the line. That was a great swing by Kaya. And let's see what Taryn and Katie can do here. They're on the good side so they need to side out in order to come back. Score is 15 to 18. Kaya and Raquel are up. Raquel gets up. Taryn ate that ball for breakfast. Get up, Taryn. Put that ball away. No, oh, no. That was, that was a debatable call. She had time to decide. So in beach volleyball, you can only uh, set with your hands if it if it's a if it's like a very quick reaction. And it, to me, it looked like Kaya had time to decide whether she wanted to do her hands there. And if you have time to decide, therefore. It shouldn't, you can't use it. Especially since it's fun too. Well, let's see what the ball says. It's 1915. Raquel and Kaya over Taryn and Katie. Here comes switch point. Taryn, or er, sorry. Taryn, come on, Katie. You got that. Yes, Katie. Great play. Come on, get up there. Raquel. Boom. Shuts it down. And we are now at a match point at 20 to 15. That should be a side switch. Yep, there we go. Any other comments? No. Raquel is 
back to serve. And That's this one. is game point, ladies and gentlemen. She sticks with the jump top. Great pass by Katie. Who Katie takes a look. Puts it down on the Ooh. line shot. That was a good serve by Raquel. She knew that the wind was coming at her, so she could just toss that ball up, crank that sucker right into the wind. It drops like crazy. Katie was ready for it, though. And yeah. Because yeah, of that, she put the ball down and got the point. Possibly it could come back right here. Can you four points to tie it back up? And at 20 20, is anybody's game. Taryn and Katie need this point to stay alive in this game, or else Kaya and Raquel will take the first set. And they did it. Ty and Raquel, 21-16 over Taryn and Katie. That, ladies and gentlemen, is set one on the Australian Gold and Volleyball Vacation Sport. Like it, like our page if you like beach volleyball. We're glad you'd rather watch beach volleyball than work to Gary Schmemmerling. 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 I can't, I can't say it. I'm sorry. Gary, give us a thumbs up if we got your name right. Gary Shemmerling. Is that right? We got thumbs up. I'm assuming that's right. Thanks. Honestly, who doesn't love watching beach volleyball? My, um, even my principal, it's kind of ironic. My high school, we played volleyball in the state uh, championship finals, and she had to be in class, so what are the odds that the principal would actually be the one who's on the iPad during class. A little funny, right? Yeah, I thought that was funny. Thanks for the thumbs up. People appreciate my stories. Pat. <laughs> You're too happy about that. Yeah, sorry, Gary. The first time we pronounced it wrong, but did we get it the second time? I'm so sorry. We'll get it eventually. Darwin, you like working? You like beach volleyball better? I'm glad you like beach volleyball better too because I do too. So we're here on the Australian Golden Volleyball Vacation Sport. All our athletes are wearing smack gear. Smack Sportswear, uh, it was born in the sands of Manhattan Beach, California. It's high quality volleyball garments are designed and tested by top pros um, like Kaya and Raquel because they love to wear this hot stuff and that hot pink and black. Who doesn't like pink and black? If you want to check out the gear, go to www.smacksportswear.com. You can use the code SMACKNVL20 for 20% off. That's a, good, hey, that's a good deal. I think I might go do that. Score that last game was 21 to 16. Kaya and Raquel just took the game away. Didn't even give Taryn and Katie a chance to come back there. And we're here in set two. Taryn and Katie are on the good side, so they let's see if they can get the switch at 4-3. Kaya is serving. Let's see what happens. Target Taryn. Great set by Katie. Line over, Raquel. All over that. Kai is short over. Katie's there. Taryn sets her up. And boom. High line. Raquel was like, uh-uh, not today. Oh, she tried to go over. And then the wind didn't help her. Like it was. Brian said, come to Grand Haven, Michigan. I've actually never um, seen any tour. Well, I'm also young, so I'm 16. But we'll be sure to mention that to Alby. He's a, he's a founder and CEO of NBL. We'll see what we can do for next year. I'm super excited. Our tour stops, we go to Hermosa Beach, August 11th through 13th. And then at the end of August, we go to Virginia Beach, August 28th through 26th through 28th. That'll be Virginia Beach, for those who didn't hear. And then Port St. Lucie, September 11th, uh, the 8th through 11th. No, that'll be a lot off. of fun. And we got a great shot off the block by Katie, who now goes back to serve with a score of 2-1, to one, and they are up. Albie's played in Grand Haven? Ooh, I'll have to talk to him about that. Thanks for, the, thanks for that, Ryan. 
and we got Raquel saying that up. Taryn, oh. great touch by Taryn, but that was just a crazy good shot by Kaya, straight to the line. Those balls are hard to get, especially Kaya and Piotr like to call those toppies. Little toppy, straight to the line. High snap, fast. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, sorry, big play on the med score, I got distracted. And so anyways, kind people like to call those shots choppies because it's a high step straight down, straight to the line. They're so hard to defend against. Kai and we got jump Kai. Karen with the pass. And pokey over. And hit in. Oh, that was just out. That wind decided not to help Taryn then. Been helping her all game, but when she needed it, it wasn't there. Let's see if they can side out and get the point after that. Kaya is serving with a lead of one point at three to two. And Katie gets up, get up, get big. Taryn gets big too. A great set out of the net by Katie. Way to stay calm there. So Anthony just asked us if the club med facility in Port St. Lucie is open to public. Heck yeah, it's a resort. You can go there and they have, it's very, it's all inclusive. So, and it's right, ooh, just out, sorry. And it's, it's in Port St. Lucie, it's gorgeous, it's right on the water. They have nine Olympic-sized sand courts, uh, lap pools, adult pools, and the food there, I mentioned this last time, but white chocolate bread they, they have there is pretty, really good. Just to clarify though, you do need to purchase a day pass to enter yeah. into the facility. Yeah, so it's, it's private. Yeah, if you want to go there, stop by. You have to pay to, for the day, but there's a lot. There's so many tourists there, and they have academies too, which is what Marley and I play in. We play in the beach volleyball academy there. They have tennis and golf academies, and there's word out that they're they're trying to build a soccer academy too. And that'll be a lot of fun because I like soccer, even though I'm really bad at it. I like watching it. Raquel just took an ace to bring the score up to five to three. Katie gets up oh, and puts the ball Katie away with a demolishes. huge cross court struck. Woohoo! Yeah, Katie! Katie is 6 foot 3 FIU grad, I think. She's a great player. Katie back to serve. Almost down, but Raquel was just ready for it. Oh, that was a great turn by Raquel. That's that Brazilian coming out in her. Brazilians are so good at beach volleyball. We are the soul of beach volleyball. For more information, visit the NBL.com. Anthony, you live in PSL? That's so cool. Marley and I live in Stewart. But we go to... Jensen Beach High School. And Kaya takes another ace to pull the score up to 7 to 4. And Anthony, when you go to Club Med, they have all inclusive um, beach volleyball uh, games too. So, like, they'll have um, all the people who are actually staying at the resort come out and just play, and then you can go out and play with them too. Great serve. Beautiful set. And Karen, oh. It was the right idea, but she just couldn't pull off that short pokey over the net. Taryn's trying to slow their momentum. Oh, Ryan, you have to leave? That's so sad. Be sure to tune in later, okay? Because we'll be back on the main court soon. Especially, uh, or just like other really good games around here because it's, it's about to be volleyball. Oh, good shot by Taryn. In answer to Anthony's question, do they have any leagues during the week or anything? Yes. Uh, I believe it's on Wednesdays that the people, that the, uh, well, people staying at the resorts will come out and play tournaments. And um, it'll be any number of players. You can have two on two, four on four, six on six. And it's adults versus adults, and, or kids and adults versus kids and adults, or kids versus kids. But honestly, beach volleyball isn't isn't as big where I live, where it, as it should be. So we, Anthony, we need to work on getting beach volleyball bigger in Britain because it's only like 
20 kids who actually like consistently do it. We need, to, we need to grow beach volleyball a lot more than it is. Especially like at public beaches. Because the beaches where we live are flat and they're perfect for beach volleyball. They just don't have nets. And Raquel, so it in. Come on, Katie. Katie, great set. Look at that control. Oh, Taryn. She let that ball drift over on her left side a little more than it should have. And it's hard to control that ball when it's over on your left side. Mikhail's back to serve. Uh, score is now 5 to 10. Raquel, er, Raquel and Kaya are up. And Taryn tries to get Kaya off guard. Kaya's like, uh uh. And Taryn reads Kaya. Read. And finds that great ready. pokey cut. Oh, you're so sneaky! Sneaky! Yeah, Anthony, I played at San Hill Paint Park. Um, one of Club Med's old coaches, Matt Heath, actually trains there, and he he has his own little league there. But other than that, I don't really play there as much. And so we're here in Club Med, and uh, not Club Med, Columbus, Ohio, for NBL Midwest. It's six serving ten on the volleyball vacations in Australian Gold Court. It is now 11-6. Kaya and Raquel set it out. Katie and Taryn, they're on the good side right now, so they need to use everything that they can to pull this game off. Let's go, Taryn and Katie! And Taryn? Good set. Rips that ball. Oh, just out. They need to use those points because Raquel's at the net and Raquel's not a blocker, so she's going to peel. We had a question from Chris Han. Do you guys know of any leagues or tournaments up here in North Dakota or Minnesota? Not going to lie to you, Chris. I have never been to Minnesota. Stuart, Florida, born and raised. So, oh, great shot, Taryn. But we were actually supposed to have a tournament this year in Milwaukee. It just in Wisconsin, I think, or Milwaukee. I don't know where that is. But um, it just happened to get canceled it's too much, and I don't know why it fell through. But I wish it was there because Milwaukee seems like a fun city. And it is now seven thirteen. But also, Chris, I was just told that the USAV High Performance, that is a USA-wide national volleyball league. Um, well, it's like a national volleyball team, I guess. And it's a, the its championship tournament will be in Milwaukee. It'll be a big tournament with plenty of girls from all over the nation coming to play beach volleyball. Juniors, though, not women. Taryn hits the ball just a little long. And gives the point to uh, Kaya and uh, Raquel to make it seven to fourteen for the technical switch. Hey, Indy, tell Taryn Mental Warrior from Jenna. Hey. For those of you who heard me say that, Taryn was telling me about this really good book that she reads a lot. To help with um, controlling your brain during the game because I'm I'm a person who gets easily distracted so it's hard for me to focus. And she was giving me a really good pep talk yesterday because Maya and I were were playing in the qualifier and I was nervous about it. And Taryn's pep talk it it really helped. We made it Maya and I made it all the way but just fell short in the last game against to uh, Katie no not Katie we fell short to Heidi and Aaron. Both six foot uh, women who are both double our ages, actually. So we were really happy with the way we played, but it was a lot of fun. Playing in qualifiers is fun because you get to learn everything and you still get points too from it. Back to the mental warrior. Part of the most important part of the game is the mental part. The mental part of the game is about 90% of takes up 90%. The other 10% is only your physical ability because if you don't have 
like if you allow the other team to get to you, how are you ever going to be able to put the ball down? You're just going to be so distracted and it's not good. Actually, one of my favorite quotes is by Serena Williams, who just won the Wimbledon this year, actually like two weeks ago, if even that. And she said, um, you can beat me physically any other way, but you will not beat me mentally. And that really spoke to me because any sport, it's so mental, it's crazy. And Kaya used her mental strength to control that serve right in after that technical. Oh, but that cut shot fell right in front of her. That was a great shot by Taryn. And here it's 14-8. The wind's starting to pick up. It's getting a little cloudier and starting to chill down a little in Columbus. Sounds like a good idea, Chris. We just read your comment about the ball heading over to oh, Kaya rips that Wisconsin ball. to see that. Carolina Martiniak. To see those games in Milwaukee. <laughs> I'm sorry, my sister is a little bit cuckoo. Cuckoo? <laughs> what else would you like me to call you? Insane. Weird. Weird. Cuckoo. 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 Sorry, guys. We have a little too much fun during this live stream. And uh, we'll focus again. So now we've got Katie back there serving. They're on the bad side. So Katie really needs to control her serve, get it in the court. But keep it aggressive because she knows that if they give... Oh, Katie. Too, a little too aggressive there. She tried to hit Kaya really low. Score is now 15 to 8. Katie and Taryn are down about 7 points. It's a big lead by Katie. Kaya and Raquel for them to, to take that game away. Kaya's back to serve. Oh, looks like Raquel wants to change up the game a little. She was going to block angle on Katie. Oh, got him. Great serve by Kaya to Katie's left side, and Katie can only get one arm on it. Yeah, Kaya! Kaya's our coach, so I feel like we have a right to cheer for her. You're not supposed to be biased here, Jenna. Oh, well, it's okay. It should be 16 8. That's right. Yeah, 16 8. And getting Nancy out here on the court. MBL is sponsored by Australian Gold to keep them protected from the sun. Also, Pine Snack Bars, they're so good. they um, It says here that they're supposed to fuel uh, good sportsmanship, so maybe they have some like sportsmanship flakes in them. I don't know, but... You drop it with the sportsmanship flakes. I don't know. They're just, they just taste really good. Sportsmanship flakes. Well, they're really good for you, too. Oh, the ref blew the whistle for a replay. Good luck for Katie and Taryn because that ball was not gettable. Sportsmanship flakes, everybody. Super important. Don't forget them. The kind bars are super good for you. They're super healthy and they keep you in such good shape because they provide all the nutrients that you need, especially after you've been playing a long day of beach volleyball. Oh. Ugh. Who wants to bet on what that word was? Because it was in Polish, but I think I have a pretty good idea of what it was. <laughs> drop, your, drop what you think it is in the comment section. Actually, just kidding. Don't do that because that's a bad idea. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen Kaya get that mad. Oh, and she comes back. That, makes up, my friend, Put that ball down. Is, is mental strength. She's a mental warrior right there. getting ready for a big block up there at the net. Ryan. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear uh, Ryan, our commentator at C Center Court. And he is making a few pirate sounding noises over there. Score is now 17 to 10. Taryn and Katie. Uh, sorry, Katie's back to serve. Let's 
see who they find. We found Raquel. Raquel is such a good dumpster. You can find the ball, especially when it's outside her body. Oh, a great touch by Katie. But Raquel is just unbeatable with that lefty. Swinging down the line is just so natural for her. It looks like the game on center court between Ryan Vandenberg and Andrew Hinchy versus um, Gutowski and Di Piero is going to three. Because they just did another coin toss. Hi, you got the serve. Taryn with a good pass. Running a line. Is that behind? Oh, Taryn. She's getting tired there. She had the right idea. Taryn had the right idea because she saw Raquel pulling angle and she tried to get her on the short. Since turning around and trying to move your momentum from backwards to forward is so hard. Hi, is that the curve? Score is now 19 to 10. And good set. Oh, Taryn. You can do it, Taryn. Hey, you got this, buddy. Kai goes back again to serve. This is match point 20 to 10. Let's see if Taryn can side out here. They're probably going to serve her again. If they don't, that'll be interesting because Kate will probably destroy that ball. Oh. And an ace. ace. Kaya looks like she's thinking wide up there. She looks happy there. Oh, I like this song. And you got Jen and Marley signing off. Bye.